who was crucified. Muhammad's followers are filled with complete resolve regarding who was not crucified. They said, we killed Christ Jesus, but they killed him not nor crucified him, but so was made to appear to them, for of a surety they killed him not. Even the internal evidence in this verse is suspect. Jews are the ones that are supposedly quoted as boasting, we killed Christ Jesus. Since Muslims understand that the term Christ means Messiah, then the question begs, why would the Jews be quoted as recognizing Jesus as their Messiah, but killing him? But then that's a separate discussion. What we discover from that verse is that, unlike any other religion, Muhammad taught his followers specifically what to disbelieve as part of the very core of his 7th century religion, while leaving an absolute vacuum as to just what Muslims are to believe. When we ask Muslims who was crucified, it seems we get as many different answers as Muslims that we ask. Thus Islam emerges as the only anti-another religion religion by design. In other words, Islam is to Christianity as a negative is to a photograph. There is perhaps no sect of Judaism that does not believe that Jesus was crucified. Of course, there has not been a single Christian over the last nearly 2,000 years that has disbelieved that Jesus sacrificed himself on the cross to save us from dying in sin, because that is what the New Covenant, or New Testament, is about. Jesus fulfilled the Old Covenant. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If someone didn't believe Jesus was crucified, it would be impossible for them to be a Christian. So Christians and Jews are in complete resolve and without doubt regarding who was crucified. Yet when we ask Muslims, we find, for example, I believe that a true disciple of Jesus took up the cross and died for him, knowing that Jesus would raise him again from the dead. Another, if I recall correctly, narrations state that there was a guy who used to oppress Jesus, so Allah turned the guy into his likeness. When exactly? I don't remember. Maybe during the time of carrying the cross, maybe before his capture. And the guy was executed instead of Jesus, so it was made to appear that Jesus was, but he wasn't. The disciple Judas, who betrayed him, was hanged. God changed him to the shape of Jesus, and before they take him to court, he keeps saying, I am not Jesus, but the soldiers beat him so much until he confessed to be Jesus, same as the American soldiers do in Iraq war. So Judas was hanged, apparently, before he went to court looking like Jesus or something like that. If you Yahoo Judas was crucified, You'll find no shortage of Muslims that believe it was indeed Judas that was crucified. However, the New Testament informs us that Judas hanged himself sometime before the crucifixion, as the confused description above seems to acknowledge. By many accounts, God put Jesus' face on someone else. For example, one report says that they came to Jesus' house to get him, but he had already been lifted to Allah, and when the guy that went in to look for him came back out, God had changed his face to look like Jesus, so they crucified him. After taking this look-alike down from the cross, they decided his face matched Jesus' face, but his body wasn't a match. The obvious difficulty with all of these views is that they are pure speculation because Muhammad left his followers empty-handed and resolved only in disbelief. In other words, while Jews and Christians are in complete resolve, as to who was crucified, Muslims emerge exactly as Muhammad mischaracterized Jews and Christians as those who differ therein are full of doubts with no certain knowledge but only conjecture to follow. When asked where Jesus is now, we find a little more agreement, but still many versions. Isa is not in a spiritual state, but in a physical state. He was physically lifted up. He will return live his life out, and die a natural death. The Quran reveals 
among many other glad tidings, that Jesus, one of God's messengers, is not dead and was not put to death. Quran 3.55 and 4.157-8 had the list of those verses that relate how Jesus was not killed but was raised alive to God's presence. Jesus, who now lives in God's presence, will return to earth during the end times. Isn't that interesting? Muslims believe that Jesus was taken up bodily to their Allah just before the crucifixion and will spend at least a couple thousand years with Allah and then come back to earth for the end times only to die a physical, natural death. Indeed, it would seem Muhammad's religion requires that Jesus come back and die. Through one of his many instructors, Muhammad lifted a concept from an Egyptian apocryphal fable titled The First Gospel of the Infancy of Jesus Christ. The fable claims that Jesus spoke as an infant while still in the cradle and said, Mary, I am Jesus, the Son of God, that word which thou didst bring forth according to the declaration of the angel Gabriel to thee. With Muhammad's spin, the infant Jesus was supposed to have said, I am indeed a servant of Allah. He hath given me revelation and made me a prophet. So peace is on me the day I was born, the day that I die, and the day that I shall be raised up to life again. So we can see Muslims are stuck with it. Jesus has to die someday, even though their most widely held view is that he was raised physically to Allah and hasn't died yet. But they killed him not, nor crucified him. Nay, Allah raised him up unto himself. There can be no doubt as to who inspired a religion that at its core resolves its adherents as to what to disbelieve. A religion that requires its followers to reject the 1600-year record of God to mankind as revealed through all of the prophets and witnesses of that record that God's people have followed through two covenants over 3,500 years. Rejecting God's word to follow the 23-year, 7th century record of a single, murderous, sex slave capturing, stepson's wife taking, child doing, thief, as revealed through Islam's own books. A prophet without fulfilled prophecy that never performed a single miracle, whom not a single witness ever heard Allah or Gabriel's voice speak to. Indeed, a religion whose single most important fundamental is Antichrist. He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath not the Father. Ask a Muslim yourself in YouTube comments or chat forums. Who was crucified, or where is Jesus now? Please join us in the BrotherPete.com Islam Christian Forum at the top link in the upper right More Info section to explore the wide array of differing Muslim opinion as to just who did die on the cross. And please add the various versions that you uncover. For our Muslims, for our Muslim friends, please come and tell us your own version or just log in to show us the truth of Muhammad's religion. We'd love to have you join us. Please click the second link or visit IslamandTheTruth.com for an introduction to the gospel. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you that ye also may have fellowship with us, and truly our fellowship is with the Father and with his Son Jesus Christ. May God bless you and lead us all in all truth.